We're at Big Creek Landing, about to take a, a fairly short run down to Old 49 in Brooklyn. We're taking out the tandem kayak, first time since I repaired it. We did have a group of students from USM take it out. They didn't have any problems with it since I fixed it, uh, fixed the leak. So uh, Carmen and I are gonna do it today. The water's pretty darn low, it has been for a while, but it's a beautiful day. The temperature is down. What's the temperature getting up to today, about 80? I don't think it's getting that high. Somewhere around 80. Um, water is pretty clear, which I would expect with as little rain as we've had lately. We have had a little bit, but not a lot. And here we go. Did you bring your phone? Because I On October 14th, 2023, we took our tandem kayak out on Black Creek in South Mississippi, near Brooklyn, Mississippi. We picked a beautiful fall day and the conditions were sunny and the temperature was in the upper 80s. Although the air temperature was great, the water had gotten pretty cold already. A couple we met along the river took a swim and said the water was freezing. We decided we would just try to stay dry for the most part. Black Creek is Mississippi's only stream that has been designated as a National Wild and Scenic River. The 21-mile section from Moody's Landing to Fairley Bridge Landing received the designation on October 30, 1986. Some call Black Creek Mississippi's premier canoeing stream, and there are good reasons for calling it that. Maps have Black Creek headwaters rising up just south of Mississippi Highway 42, southeast of Bassfield in Jefferson Davis County. But it does not become navigable, in our opinion, until it crosses Mississippi Highway 11 north of Purvis. We have paddled Black Creek from Highway 11 near Purvis to Cypress Creek Landing on the eastern edge of the Black Creek Wilderness Area. And from its confluence with the Red Creek to the confluence with the Pascagoula River, Today, we decided to put in at Big Creek Landing and paddle to the old Highway 49 crossing in Brooklyn. Just north of Big Creek Landing, Black Creek enters the Sesoto National Forest and cuts through it for approximately 49 miles, exiting south of Mississippi Highway 26 and southeast of Bendale, Mississippi. In the middle of the DeSoto National Forest, a little over 5,000 acres of forest have been designated as the Black Creek Wilderness Area. To be designated a wilderness area by the United States Congress, the area must be in its natural state with minimal human impact. Once set aside as a wilderness area, human activities are restricted to scientific study and non-mechanized recreation. Motor vehicles of any sort are not permitted. One significance of the wilderness and national forest lands surrounding much of Black Creek is that you can freely stop and camp anywhere along the river in those areas without relying on the permission of good graces of private landowners. It is also a rare and satisfying experience to travel through forests that are largely in their primordial state. Today, the creek was low. It had hardly had any rain for several months, but the lack of rain also made the water clearer, allowing us to see through the water to the turtles and the fish. We decided to take the kayak today to avoid dragging bottom in the shallows and having to port around obstacles. It was a good idea. Even in the shallows, we rarely grounded.
Along the way, we were able to spot a hawk that swept down across the creek just a few yards from our bow. We also spotted a kingfisher passing back and forth across the river as it hunted fish. And it was definitely turtle day on the creek, with dozens of them lined up on the logs, including a rare softshell turtle that was so unafraid it never moved from its spot until we accidentally bumped into his log. All along the way, the creek was lined with thick forest. The leaves had not yet begun to turn colors in South Mississippi, and the frequent still pools of water reflected the greenery like a painter's palette. After only about two hours of sunshine, reflective waters, and the sounds of nature, we completed our journey and felt ready to meet the coming week.